Hello friends, it's time for another 12 days of mischief or Gifmas, where I slay my holidays with a little bit of glitz and glam, galore, beauty and more. Well, we're on day 11. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't. I can't believe that Christmas is just this close. But it is what it is. So we're going to get the instant solo brewer going so that we can have a cup of New English tea from my tea event calendar. I have really been enjoying this tea. A little different than what I normally have around this time of the year, but very classic tea. Today we're using another David's tea mug. This one is uh, that kind of uh, almost Tiffany blue that light teal color with this one has stars golden golden stars shall I say outside and on the inside of the rim and it has a gold rim around the top and the foot is gold trimmed so quite elegant little it's a quite elegant little teacup I'm happy to have it in my collection and um, I did have some David's tea again today because I was missing it a little, I must admit. And uh, so let's get busy with boiling the water. We're going to do eight ounces because we know that's what this cup holds. And let's pull out our tea calendar. Ta-da! And like I said, we're on day 11. Guys, I had to take a nap when I came home from work. I was extremely exhausted. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need more vitamins or something. More vegetables in my diet. I don't know what it is. I think I'm eating pretty healthy. So, again, this is day 11 and I'm looking for it on the box. How can it escape me? Because it's there. Here it is. Right there day 11 and our saying for today is oh I like this one too expect nothing appreciate everything so true expect nothing because no one has to give you anything but appreciate everything appreciate everything nothing is promised to us and anything that comes our way we should appreciate it I know I do I appreciate all of you and the tea we're drinking again is black tea with honey and I liked this one again this is a very classy or classic tea company so far of the five teas I've tried. This is my first time ever trying new English teas and I have one more tea company that has caught my eye and uh, I just might order that advent calendar just to try it out. Um, so we're going to put this in here and let it steep so we know this should be a dark tea because it's black tea and it should be slightly sweet because it has honey in it. Guys, I got my little ballerina still sitting there because I've been enjoying her and as you know with uh, nutcrackers you like pull up on them you put your nut in and then you pull up on the back and crack your nut these are just for show they are not used as I have several of these they're not used as nutcrackers by me I just love having them and collecting them and I also gift them to one of my sisters sometimes because she really started the uh, nutcracker phase for me. And um, I started off by gifting her some and then I saw some I liked and I started purchasing them for myself. Okay, we're going to allow this to steep and get on over to open up day 11's box or boxes. Hang in there. Let's take a sip of the tea. I have to get around here to do so. And uh, let's go. Let's give it a taste. Mm. That is a very mellow, very mild T 
tea. It does put me in the mind of honey. It's very smooth and it has a semi sweetness to it. Hmm. You'd have to taste it to appreciate it. Okay guys, we're over here and we only have one more day of 12 days of uh, mischief. But I see more than one package over here. Actually, I see one behind the teacup, two, three, four, five. How are we going to do this? Hmm. I think we're going to just open up a couple of things. We're going to deviate from Guerlain and we'll save this for day 12. How about that? And maybe this as well. And we'll open up a couple of packages today. So, no Guerlain today. Here we go. Let's do this one. This box, and this is the gift tag, is a gift for you, especially you, from especially me. Gifted myself this, and it's actually from um, Nordstrom, but I picked it up at Nordstrom Rack, so I guess they wrapped it there and put the note card there because at the bottom it says Nordstrom Rack. I wish I could go into Nordstrom Rack and find these things. I'd be quite happy. But let's unbox this and see what I have today. So Nordstrom's paper, if this is actually where it was wrapped, and boxes are pretty plain, pretty simple. Nothing special here. No Lux feeling there. And even the paper is quite plain. Look at that, how they packaged it. I did, however, put something else in here. So I put some additional things in here. First, let's go with what I picked up from Nordstrom. Hope this doesn't fall. Maybe we should start on top and go down. So these two things, the Sunday Riley Cream, these were actually from Nordstrom. So they had a sale where these, I think it was during Black Friday or something, Cyber Monday. Anyway, the CEO, Sunday Riley, this is the vitamin C cream, the rich cream. It's a hydration cream. They had these for like $16, these little ones here. So I got two of these and I felt like I made out really well by buying these uh, mini size ones. These are great for me as a face moisturizer during the day or night and they help to really, this cream helps to really um, combat pigmentation for me. I really like it that for that. So that's why I had to pick it up even though I wanted to venture into another um, skincare system. Actually at that time I did not have uh, Guerlain in the picture but I do like this and want to keep this in my my uh, groupings of face products and next Sephora had I don't know I was in there picking up something and oh I was in Bloomies and went across the street and found this for like I think it was five dollars at Sephora it's their golden hour highlighter duo and it's quite pretty but that's what it looks like let me open it up no I won't it's um, sealed so you'll have to see it in a get ready with me at some point but it's really pretty on the skin oh gosh I am once I said that I wanted to swipe it again <laughs> so I'm opening it up because I need another highlighter like I need a hole in my head but this is so pretty and it's not a color I need and you can barely see it and that's what I liked about it so you just catch a glimpse of it in the light but it's so pretty to me it's the uh, Givenchy Prima Libre blush and I have it it's been a while in number six so let's take a look at it guys I, I guess you can hear how tired I am in my voice but this is what it looks like it's so much smaller than what I expected I have the um, face powder and uh, I was really surprised that this was as small as it is uh, let me get that face powder but this is the face powder I have 
and then here as you can see it's a blush face powder and blush the blush has a little mirror on the top this is a matte black top on the face powder and let's see if we can open this one up comes with a little powder puff and there you can see the colors very pretty and I like that it has four shades that you can blend together or try to wear individually if you can pick them up you can see them there and then you see them on this side very nice so this little box is a mixture of things little things that I wanted and I just threw them all in one box here a hodgepodge of things and I wanted this brow uh, pencil for a while this is from hourglass and I think I have it in a deep shade in natural black now the only thing in this box I believe that I had no plans of getting was this highlighter from Sephora five dollars you can't go wrong so this is the pencil from hourglass for the brows and I do need a pencil let's see if it's okay there's a spoolie on one end there is a really fine point to this pencil and it's really like it's square shape and it's flat I think I'm going to try to mark on my hand with it so you can see it I don't want to break it but uh, oh yes I like that and it broke <laughs> I knew it would going on my hand but there I'm not going to mess with it too much hopefully you can see that Sephora gel lip contour um, lip liner gel and it is in dark horse and I think I got this to go along with my Guerlain uh, lipstick that I showed you yesterday so that's what this is uh, by the way I will be doing a get ready with me on Christmas Eve using some of my Guerlain products and I think I will try out this pencil with that lipstick and a few of these other things and lastly in that box is from Chanel I did pick up one Chanel item this holiday season here we are from Chanel and this one is in the color it's in 184 Rouge Intense see right there I felt like I needed a red pencil I guess liner lip liner and I heard so many good things about Chanel's lip liners how they don't bulge and then you get a lip brush on the other end so I had to try it yes I had to try it so those are little things that I you know wanted to try and I just bunched them all up together in one box let's have a sip of tea this one is a tiny box with a, a couple of tiny things in it nothing big got it from Macy's Macy's box they did not wrap anything or give me the option to have anything wrapped this was not a big purchase it's just a little something I thought because I was enjoying Guerlain's products so much I would pick up a pair of these little bee earrings these little studs and I would make sure that I wear them either on the larger hole in my ear or one of the secondary holes in my ears but these are by Gianni Ber Bernini and they're 18 karat gold over sterling silver and a second pair of little fun earrings I picked up from Macy's are these candy canes for the holiday season from Holiday Lane <laughs> these candy canes they are just adorable and they have little fabric ribbons on them those are cute little things I picked up just because they were so cute and lastly I'm going to open up this Soma package it says everything we do starts with you now they didn't do any wrapping for Christmas but they gave you this huge huge box and I didn't buy much from them just a little something and look at this box I don't know if any of you pick up your um, lingerie or your um, intimate clothing from Soma 
but I love their bras and I have quite a few of their bras and uh, I went in there looking for a specific color bra and looked up and found something pretty close in a style that I think I will like wearing. So let's open up and see. Big box and little things. So let's open this up from Soma. And here it is. So I found a beautiful bra in there. I normally don't get this style of bra from them, but this is so pretty in my opinion. Doesn't have much in the way of style, but this little two cross straps there in the front. And I like bras with nice sturdy straps because I need that for support. And this was marked down to like $39.99. It was usually like $62. So their bras are not inexpensive, but they're nice bras and they last. So I really like buying my bras from them. And this color is so pretty. And I started to get a matching underwear, but I just don't wear all of the varieties that um, I see there. I do want to try out one of their tummy control undies, but I just picked this up. I don't know where I picked these panties up. I thought that they would go with this. They're just a pair of lacy panties, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the top here and I think these may be too big for me really I do look at that they look huge but they're pretty they're lacy and they're pretty and I think I am going to have to return these or just give this pair to someone and uh, get a smaller size like a, maybe a small or medium because this one is way too big but it's very pretty in my opinion I love this and I think I want definitely be wearing the bra for the holidays. I don't know. I haven't tried these on and I don't want to. I think I'm just going to hold them up to some other undies I have and see, compare, compare the size that way. And then if they're too big, which I think they are, I'm going to be uh, returning or giving them to someone. But that's what I got from there. Well guys, I'm going to take another sip of tea and leave you on the high note of take care of yourselves, take care of others, be kind to others that are in your circle and out of your circle. And uh, what was our message for today? It was about expecting nothing but appreciating everything. Such a good little message because especially at this time of the year, no one has to give you a gift, nobody has to do anything for you, but when they do, appreciate any and everything so long. I'll see you tomorrow. God willing. Bye-bye.